Hey guys, just a quick note about the upcoming episode. It is... Oh boy. We went on a road trip, so if you hear any background noise, it's the car. We had lots of technical problems recording people, so if we interviewed you and you don't hear yourself in the episode, it's probably because the recording got corrupted. Um, it happens. Um, get you on the flip. Hope you guys enjoy this one. It is all over the map. I came back home sick as a freaking frog. Let me tell you. But anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, if you don't, oh well. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Die, the His versus His versus His versus His Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast. I'm Brett, Mountain Man from West Virginia. Joining me is What's Up with Wes, What's What's Up? What's up? Thank you for saying something. <laughs> also joining me is Cam and Chris, two Dragon Con veterans, pros. All this weekend we're going to be recording live from the event, talking about surviving conventions and things like that. Guys, I know we did this once already and this recording didn't record and it sucks, but I need a beginning of the podcast. Currently we're driving right now and we're in some state I don't know. Chris, what, what do you... Uh, what do you got to say? What do you got to say for yourself? Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm the, the one driving. He's kind the one distracted. driving. distracted. <laughs> He's a tall drink of water, this one. What would you? What is the best advice you could possibly give someone that wants to attend an event like this? Um, the 5-2-1 rule. Five hours of sleep, two square meals a day, one shower a day. Okay. That sounds reasonable. Cam? What's the likelihood that we'll all end up murdered the next morning? Uh, like a 98% chance. 90% ant chance and probably 2% chance of being sexually yeah, assaulted. It's the 2% that makes it worthwhile. Probably by someone dressed up as Deadpool. Yes. Or Spider-Man. Just Deadpool or Spider-Man. I prefer so. Thanos. A Thanos give you yeah. a good fisting. An, an Infinity Gauntlet worth of <laughs> Give you a good fisting. Worth of Infinity fun. Gauntlet, yeah. Give you a good, a good snap. All six stones. Snap. Chris, what's your craziest story from Dragon Con? This is an audio podcast, bud. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. Get we'll, back to me. We'll come back to you. Cam, what's the craziest combination of animals? <laughs> um... I still like Beluga Dactyl. Beluga Dactyl. I just think that rolls off the tongue well. We've been talking a lot about shark to puss. I think the gorilla with eight arms, eight gorilla arms, would be the spiderilla. Yeah, spiderilla. The spiderilla. Yeah. Spiderilla. Back, spiderilla. So it can just beat the shit out of everything. But so, it has human fists. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All this weekend, we're going to be talking to random people in the convention. We're just going to come up to them and ask them who shark to puss could possibly fight. So we're going to ask for that. That's going to be fun. Stay oh, tuned for uh, that. Episode. Craziest thing I've seen at the con was in three years past, uh, one of the years, we saw a Misty from the Pokemon anime series. We saw her uh, dancing on a stripper pole, on a, uh, a robotic moving stripper pole, and her tits fell out. It was awesome. <laughs> it was like, so, so your craziest thing, your craziest story was just like some tits came out. Yeah. It was like a Roomba. Yeah, it was like a, a Roomba stripper pole. Stripper pole. Huh. It was well, not very stable either. It, was kind of, it, was it doesn't it. sound stable at all. It sounds like your, your ass is going on the ground. It was funny because it was like a ground. huge crowd in a circle. Well, she was a small girl. Not, not like not like a little girl. She was just a petite girl. Misty, if you some, <laughs> Misty, if you listen to this podcast, I'm very sorry Rated for my friends here. here. So me and Wes are Dragon Con virgins. Chris and Cam are Dragon Con veterans. They're going to take us around and probably get us drunk and leave us beaten up in an alley somewhere. So if you find me and Wes, help! Wes, help! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> We're just going to drop you off and leave. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Thanks for the money. Uh, I've been to a few cons. Met Stan Lee, stuff like that. And those things are expensive. We talked about it a little bit before. Um, talk about... Go ahead, Cam. I, oh, sorry. I tell you where you're lucky is you, you did research. You've looked this up. Mm-hmm. When we first did it, we like I, blind, I, I, I've, I've been to like I think two cons before this, and I've seen other cons 
and I was expecting, you know, your regular convention center, whatever type of deal. But yeah, we went into it blind, so it was absurdly overwhelming for the first time because of the amount of people and the amount of stuff that goes on. And then you realize that how much you miss because it's 24 seven. Yeah, I think last year, uh, I, I think I saw they said there was like 80,000 plus people. Yeah, they've, I think each year has been like a record setting crowd. Yeah, so a lot of people, so. They have added a new hotel this year to the convention. So to accommodate bigger. the uh, amount of people. Wow. And on top of that, you've got the football people that'll be down there. So, yeah, it's something else. So if there's a massive earthquake, we're all fucked. Yes. yes. This is where the, the we lose everyone. If The Walking Dead happens in Atlanta, just like it did in the show, we're Ground in trouble. Zero. Yeah. During DragCon. That would be kind of awesome, though. There'd be a bunch of zombies walking around dressed up as, like, no no Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be people that are, that are dressed up as zombies that will turn into zombies, and we won't even know it. Wes is a zombie already. He's very quiet. Yeah. He doesn't like to talk. He's saving it for the con. He's saving it for the con. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about surviving the convention. Or if, if we survive it, I'm going to probably get so drunk I puke my brains out at some point. I'm going to try and avoid that. Hopefully they've got carts that we can wheel people around when they're passed out. Uh, just get, le just leave me to die. Yeah. Just eat my body. Consume me as sustenance. <laughs> uh, if you were trapped on a desert island, all four of us, who would we eat first? Ooh. The least useful or the most meaty? Oh, or the man. most nighty. <laughs> the most Chris makes it personal. Chris, Chris, <laughs> you gotta like go. <laughs> Chris is the strongest, so we gotta take him out first because he's a threat. We're sitting around the, the first to be outcasted to the other side of the island. <laughs> We're sitting around a fire, like delegating, like what should happen. And Chris is like not broken eye contact with me. He's like, I just don't fucking like this guy. I'm just gonna fucking eat him first. <laughs> I'm just Let's gonna, just do it right now. Like, Damn, we're talking about building a camp over here. I'm just gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> Chris, Chris just interjects with a rock the cam yeah. skull. Like, well, it's done now, guys. It's do you want to four minutes? Do you want to eat? Do you want to eat or do you want to argue? And then we're like, well, all right, he's already dead. Might as well collect his brain drippings. We'll make a nice glaze. We're ridiculous. camping a mile away from civilization. What's wrong with you? Uh, stay tuned for some more road games like that. We recorded mainly about Sharktopus. We've we've really been stuck on Sharktopus a lot today. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. But um pump. Say bye everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Roll the commercials. Later. Fuck you, Wes. There, I'm recording now. We're coming up with Sharktopus sequels. I, I kind of want to do something like, if you could combine like a silverback, so it'd be like silverback something. Silverback beaver. <laughs> Silver, silver eaver. So it's just this like deezed out fucking beaver that's the size of King Kong. And I hope it makes silverback noises instead and it's of beaver still, noises. Yeah, and it still has its tail and it just fucking walks around and smacks its tail. Oh my god. I, but beluga dactyl versus silverback beaver. Silver, silver beaver. beaver. The silver breaver. Silver <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll workshop that name. <laughs> we'll get the think tank on that. Oh, uh, what else do we got? Elephant one? Is this? Did you said scorpifant. Yeah. You said elephantus. Mantifant. Mantifant. An elephant with giant mantis wings and a deadly yeah. barb out of its trunk. Yeah. Uh, doesn't have very. It sounds like a very inefficient. Uh, it sounds like a peaceful like, animal too, because yeah. both the. Well, I guess elephants are dangerous. I don't know. Why not something with a hippopotamus? Since they're really dangerous. Ooh. Like a, um, like a prey pont, prey pontimus. Prey pontimus? So a prey like mantis. Like a prey mantis. <laughs> That's a hippopotamus. <laughs> uh, like, it, uh, instead of seeing just the, uh, snout of the hippo out of the water, you'd also see its, like, prey mantis arms peeking out. Exterior. Of the dusk. Yeah. <laughs> the hippo mantis is <laughs> drawn up on the I'm beach as a hot chick run, goes for a night jog. Gazing into the, the foggy... Horizon, just beyond the clouds comes the, the 
appears the the hippomantis. The hippomantis. <laughs> we see a salty sea captain yell at her, "Don't go near the water!" And she says, "What? Go into the water?" And he says, "Don't go into the water." But and what? she draws near. Aside from being in the water, though, like, what would that thing look like? Like, how would it walk? Would it have little praying mantis legs? Imagine, you know, just put like a hippo on a praying mantis, like limbs. It, it needs like four big pr hippo legs, but with yeah. an elongated back and wings, like a praying mantis. Yes. And a, it, like a carapace, like a shell. And like, um, and it needs like the extra mantis legs eyes on the side, so it can like yeah. go side to side. And it needs really mantis way. eyes on a hippo head. <laughs> like a little mantis mouth. And the and the and the mantis neck, so it can like swivel around and look at you all crazy. Uh, It'd actually be pretty scary. Yeah. We're basically in the island of Dr. Moreau right now. Oh, no, that's turning people into animals. Never mind. Like a porcupine. <laughs> with porcupine. With uh, a dolphin. A dolphin. dolphin. Porcupine. Porcupine? <laughs> the killer porcupine. Or porpoise. The way they porcupus. Ooh. Um... <laughs> Platypus. Uh, Platypus? Platypus and uh, need something huge. Something, something huge. really fucking big. Giraffe. A giraffe. A giraffe. <laughs> a giraffe a giraffe a giraffe <laughs> How are these things fighting shark -tipus? Yeah, they would get destroyed by shark -tipus. A giraffe a platypus. Giraffe a platypus. Is that at the platypus? <laughs> Just resurrect the dinosaurs. We do need some dinosaurs. We need a dinosaur one, so it's like, like a um, Tyrannosaurus, a Tyrannosaurus puss, puss, Octosaurus Rex, <laughs> or deer, like mixed deer. with a stag or Velocideer. Yeah, well, that, that would be like scary. A, that kind of sounds like a car or something. It would be the most docile, like, velociraptor looking thing ever. Oh, we would just hop away. But they'd be fast it. and intelligent. Yeah. They'd eat all your corn. A beluga mingo. Beluga. Like a flamingo? A flamingo beluga whale. Beluga <laughs> mingo. <laughs> I think beluga it is just a funny word. around so, like, but, the stilt legs of yeah. a flamingo. Yeah. Like, really tiny. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> But it's super fast. Um, give a beluga whale like the long spindly legs of like a spider crab and some yes. lobster pincers. Like beluga stir. This <laughs> sounds like something that Sid would make. We're also, you know, we're simultaneously also creating Pokemon right now. It's beluga stir! Yeah. Beluga stir! <laughs> I choose you! It Pokemon. It evolves into... <laughs> it's, the, it's the baby form of shark or sharktopus. Shark whale. Give it a water stone. And it turns into the, the scorpifant. That's a dream. Is it like bottle? overrated to mix humans with other species to create a giant beast? <sighs> Just put human arms on like a Macho. like a T Rex. Yeah, a T Rex with just just human arms. Yeah, it's and, ba and baby legs. Baby legs. <laughs> so it's like, not. Like, so it's just crawling it after you everywhere. Just put baby legs. On so baby, baby legs. basically, it's scary, but it can't come after you. Yeah. So it's like an ant lion. It just stays in one spot, and you better not like get it, too close. It finally has the ability to grab things since it doesn't have a little T Rex <laughs> but arms. It can't but stay, it can't yeah, walk. It fast keeps falling down on its butt. Oof. And it has a diaper. For so some roaring, it just says. Oof. <laughs> yeah, some weird reason it's got a diaper on. Be like, uh, how about croc a turtle? Croc a turtle. Crocodile. Oh, man, a crocodile with I feel like, like the that, defensive capabilities of a turtle. I feel like yeah, that, that probably deadly. existed way back in the day. Ooh, no, here turtle we go, puss. a crocodile with human legs. So it could like, when it got on land, it could pull out. Are you talking about you. Leatherhead from the Ninja Turtles? Oh, yeah, I guess that is. <laughs> <laughs> Him and uh, Bebop? Was that its name? No, it was Rocksteady and Rocksteady Bebop. And, Bebop. and Leatherhead was kind of a good guy. I remember uh, in Turtles in Time, he was on the like cowboy train. Level. You remember Street Sharks? Yeah. <laughs> they were they were jawsome. <laughs> they, were, they were sharks with human legs. And they could and swim arms. in and they could swim in concrete. Yeah, that's the that Shark needs that ability to swim in concrete. Like the concrete wouldn't even slow him down. Yeah. He would just be a land predator too. Oh, that's why we need the land animal to fight him. So yeah, we need I guess Rick and Morty are Silver like Rab. A bird person. Yeah, bird person is three. But he's like a he's the ultimate, he can't stop bird person. 
What if he did get stalked by like <laughs> ARs and stuff? <laughs> Bird person. How about like armadillo hawk? Armadillo Ooh. hawk. So like yeah, we're, f- we're forgetting all these animals that have like good shells and stuff. Yeah, like pangolins. Yeah. Pangolegal. Hang on. I just I want to mix everything with an elephant just because it's big. Pangafint. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A heavily armored elephant. Ankylosauruses were big and armored. What about like a... Anklefint. Pelifiger. Elefiger? Pelifiger. 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 That's three animals. Yeah. Pangolin, elephant, and a tiger. Ooh, that'd be scary. Tigers are scary. I think all the things we described are scary. (laughs) I want to know what's wrong with us. How about like a python? Oh, snakes. We need to think of snakes. (laughs) Pythophint. (laughs) <laughs> Everything just ends up back with an elephant somehow. They had Titan Boa, and it was like, how, Wes, how long was Titan Boa? Titan Boa? Yeah, it Titana was, Boa. Uh, it was like 30 feet long? No, it was like 36 to 40 feet long. Yeah. But it's the largest. Check out our dinosaurs episode when I asked Wes what his favorite dinosaur was, and he said it was a snake, even though it's not a dinosaur. Which, the, I mean, the, the remains of that was found in the Sarah John. Dude, how about like a megalodactyl? Megalodactyl. <laughs> I like it. Massive like Megalodon flying around. A megalophant. Megalophant. <laughs> Again. <A> megalophant. <laughs> Everything just comes back to the other. It's just a giant, like, tusked shark that waddles around on the ground. You reached, your, yeah. you reached your creativity limit. Yeah. So everything just, you just had bent to the end of everything. You put a centipede on there, so it's like uh, elipede. An elephant. An elephant with a million... Ten people sewn together. <laughs> the size of an elephant. Human centipede. pad. Since we're going to Dragon Con, we're going to try and do some human centipedes, if you know what I'm saying. That'd be a good question. Chris is going to be in the middle. No surgery required. Could ask people what they would... The middle's the best place. By. Yeah. I wish we could make this, like, happen. We just go ask get it, who could create the best... Ask people who could come up with the best combination. Maybe we'll do that. And have them fire dragon. Oh, who, would, yeah. who would win in a fight between Dude, us? dragons get to come into this conversation? Uh, yeah, why not? Dragon Fint? I mean, yeah. Dragon Fint? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, where's that? Yeah. Yeah. Come up with something really original. The <laughs> Dragon Fint. <laughs> a human fint. Yeah. What? A human infant? Human infant. Sharktopus <laughs> versus human infant. <laughs> Tune in for the slaughter. <laughs> Shark-to- Sharktopus gets into a maternity ward. It ben. actually chokes on the baby, so... Uh, and the then it dies, wins. and the babies win. Was that a troll? A troll. Some Hollywood producers need to get into contact with us. <laughs> Wasn't that basically the Logan Paul thing? It'd be yeah. like, <laughs> Panther fan. Panther fan. A yeah. Megalopaul. So it's a Logan Paul and a Megalodon combined into the Megalogan Paul. Megalogan Paul. Oh, God. We're dumb. <laughs> Road trips. Just standard monkey combinations. Road trip survival. Is that a show? Pee in a cup. Poop in the woods. Pee in a cup, poop in a jar. Eat it to survive. Don't eat your poop and then pee in the jar. Wait. I got that backwards. <laughs> Snacks. Bear grills. Bear grills walks into a wood. Uh, woods. A wood. Yeah, just a wood. <laughs> just one wood. Exterior. Bear grills. <laughs> Repels out of a helicopter with a, ca- a, a filming crew of 20 people that no one sees off camera. But it's we- the one wood that killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he survived everything. He unhooks the from the helicopter him. and he looks at the camera and says, Oi, mate! <laughs> Bear grills is Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a bunch of poo. We're going to squeeze some water out of it. <laughs> I show absolutely. you how to survive. This is absolutely dreadful. There's and then, a wood here. <laughs> then a shark defant comes out of the woods and eats him. An old sea captain goes, don't go in there. And then there's Peter Baelish just waiting <laughs> for fair girls in the woods. Then the Hippomantis the shows up to fight shark Yeah. All leading up to Shark Avengers 4. Ashes to ashes. Guts to guts. There's our tagline. Ashes to ashes. Guts to guts. 
Because it kind of plays off of the thing, the Marvel thing, yeah. Who, who, who creates the animals? Is it Doctor Who that creates the animals? Is, the, is he the master doctor? No. Is he a real doctor? I think he has a screwdriver and he can repair, like, your furniture. Like, if a screw comes loose on a knob. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of angry emails now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man a degree yeah you're I want to check his accreditation yeah, you're a doctor now like let me see the degree buddy you're in an old timey phone booth I don't know if I trust what you have to tell me he just like takes pack he like has a box he's actually like, just a black market they, doctor he's like step into my food they have <laughs> smartphones now like you think like he just gives illegal college injections and stuff he just has band-aids he just gives people a band-aid Sharktopus versus Doctor Who. That would make money. Yeah. I think that would be a pretty clear outcome, though. Uh, you know what? Since uh, we probably are not going to get the rights for our movie here, let's just call him Doctor Question Mark. Doctor Question Mark. Yeah. yeah. Sharktopus versus Doctor Question. I mean, if he, they probably would. We think... could do a spinoff series with his son called Johnny Question Mark. Johnny Question Mark. <laughs> Uh, Starring Tommy Wiseau. Funded by Anonymous. Fuck? Oh. Oh, did someone just crash? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. That's road work. Machines doing that. Man. I thought somebody like... You could have listened to someone die live on this podcast. <laughs> Looks like they're digging up the fossils of the shark defense. The shark defense. What about a giant spider? Tyrannophon. Oh, oh, we forgot spiders. Like a giant spider yeah. snake. Dino spider. Yeah. It's a dinosaur with like eight legs, eight spider legs on it. Look like normal, eight dinosaur legs. Mega but also fin. eight spider oh, eyes. Mega spider fin. Yeah. Spider mantis fin. Oh man, there's a quick trip. Just Oops. give us spider wings and it would be terrifying. The great beluga mega spider fin dactyl. Spider hawk. Spider Fendactyl. Oh, uh, if it'd be worse for Spider Hawk would never miss his grabs. It would He'd have so many talons. It would, it, so it'd just be like a spider with hawk wings, really, right? And then but in talent. It'd be worse if it was like a spider with hummingbird wings, because it'd be so fast. He'd be like, <laughs> Yeah. Would you put the talons on the end of the spider feet? And the yeah. spider yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. They'd sure. have like four talons on each spider. I would just leg. die of shitting my brains out of fear. Yeah, spiders. And, and the the fear shits. Fear shits. You got the fear shits. I died of fear shit. What happened to him? Put it on yeah, his grave. I think, he, I think he died. Oh yeah, what? Bob, happened? it's a standard case of fear shits. Fear shits. The worst case of fear shits I've ever seen. It splattered all over the wall. Your last words were "Save me, Sharktopus." <laughs> <laughs> we're stopping for gas. <laughs> when we come back for the next segment, we'll be somewhere else. Can here's your time to shine. Record a commercial. Oh man. Um, are you like millions of others tired of having itchy gooch? <laughs> Try Goochaline, <laughs> the safe and effective way to get rid of gooch itch. <laughs> For ten ninety nine a month, we'll send out Peter to help you apply the gooch cream. <laughs> Goochaline, order today. Oh gosh, I'm sorry to hear that. So yeah, everything just stopped. So yeah. Like, well, understand. So yeah, I've just now been getting to do sound effects. Other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. Okay. Okay. Am I recording? We are recording. Okay. So I'm with Tina Hello. from the Killing Time podcast. Yes. Yeah. 
and we'll do a full promo later. Okay. But Tina, if you can combine two animals together to fight against the sharktopus, what two animals would it be? Sharktopus? Hmm. Sharktopus. Um, let's see. A tiger? Then I probably would need something water, right? A tiger and a dolphin. Dolphins can swim. Tiger fin. So, yeah. So we've got a tiger fin. Tiger fin, yeah. Does it, does it growl or does it go eee? I think it needs to go eee. I think it would growl, but then it would, be, but it would be a, it would be a cute growl, I think. I feel like if the characters in a classic horror movie fashion were to slowly turn around and it was right behind their shoulder, it would be much better if it went eee and then attacked. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and the, and it would be orange striped. Orange striped. It would be orange striped with dorsal fin. Yes. Swim like a motherfucker. We're talking about okay, guys. I'm recording right now. All right. We're trying to figure out what two animals together would be best to fight against the shark octopus. The shark octopus. The shark octopus. You might have to yell. All right, what is the shark octopus? It's a shark. It's a combination shark and octopus. All right, you really. We can keep talking about this, but we need to wait for Diana to get back because okay. she's uh, she got her master's in marine biology. Oh really? Yeah. So so she will have opinions. <laughs> this is these are guys from the Mercury broadcast of Hope show, and we'll do a full promo later for all these people. Okay, I'm doing a Dragon Con episode, so it's it's pretty much all over the place. We did Truth or Dare on road trip. It was terrible. Fantastic. You can't, you can't say tiger dolphin because I already said. That. She said tiger dolphin. What do you what do you say over there? It doesn't necessarily have to be aquatic. Our favorite was spider. Our favorite was spiderilla. I love them. My first thought was like a gator or something. See, I'm gonna go Gators like. Got that. I'm thinking like elephant. Like I'm just thinking gator like. Fence. Yeah. Gator fence. Yeah. Gator fence. You know what's funny is we made like 20 freaking suggestions and they all concluded elephant because we can't get on it. So. Oh wow. We can't gator get off fence. elephant. Gator fence. Elephants and dolphins. This is what we're all about. Like like, Do you guys understand what our podcast is about now? Like nothing at all. Like we have a premise and we don't stick to it. That is a, a monkey and a what? Hippopotamus. Monkey, a monkey potamus. Yes. We had one of our ideas was uh, hippo hippomantis. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like monkeys. Monkeypotamus. Half of my tweets are about monkeys. That'd be terrible. They tear, they rip your face off, and then they play hungry, hungry hippomantis. No, hippo monkey. No monkey, monkeypotamus. A monkey that, oh yeah, basically a hippopotamus that can climb trees. It's pretty scary. How about a, uh, para, a oh crap, I forgot how to pronounce it. A para, crap. Hang on. It's okay. <laughs> I don't edit. Rhinoceros. Piranosaurus. Per, no, per, there's a piranha and a rhinoceros. Pir rhino like really rhinoc. Like a rhinoc. Oh, it's, it's a big rhino-sized thing. Per Piranosaurus. Yeah, so so a rhinoceros with like the jaws of a piranha, yeah. and there's like 50 of them, yeah. and they just <laughs> tear you apart. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm into it, guys. Thanks so much for being a part of Let's Die. <laughs> guys, it's it's amazing. All tens and tens of our listeners will just enjoy this fantastically. So. And I promise when I get home, I will give you all a full, like, link to all of y'all. It'll be great. You're a marine biologist. Yes. Okay, what two animals? Okay, first of all, what's your name? My name is Diana. Diana. We're trying to figure out what two animals combined would be best to fight against the shark To fight against the shark -tipus? The shark -tipus. Um, Is it allowed to have an octopus in it? Do whatever you want. Okay, because the octopus is the most intelligent animal in the sea, so that would have to be one of the, and one of them. Okay. And then for the, it, I can only pick two animals? Two animals. Well, do whatever you want. We're not going to arrest you for picking three. Let's see, because by picking the octopus, I've, I've picked problem solving, agility. Depending mm -hmm. on what kind of octopus we're talking about, mm -hmm. it has the ability to move across land. As long as it's wet, it is fine out of water. So uh -huh. there you go. That's a pretty good advantage right there. Not to mention the... Um, Camouflaging abilities, it can hide basically anywhere. Uh -huh. um, agility and problem solving, of course, are going to be two of your, your key things there. Um, I would pair it with. 
Um, all right, so my background is actually in invertebrates. Okay. So things that live in shells, slimy I things. I like invertebrates. Yes. So um, I am actually, I would actually go with, um, let's just be very generic and say a sea snail because I would want. Sea snail? I'll just say snail. That's lovely. So because snail puss. Yes, the snail puss, because I would want that protective shell, which and the octopus, you got the mucus? It, it, would, it would be lacking, yes, you would have mucus. Um, you would have the radula, which is a, think of it like a cat's tongue. Okay, um, terrifying. There, there is a sea snail called an oyster drill that will crawl onto an oyster, and using this tongue will drill a hole in its shell to eat it. Oh, lovely. I do that. That's, so we got Snellipus. I think that's going to be the winner. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. We'll be all right. Next after this, a different segment. This episode is brought to you by Gucci Lee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Please stay tuned for our rec- pre-recorded segment about Gucci Lee. <laughs> Gucciolene Brothers, take it away. <laughs> Hi, I am Klaus Gruber of my very own Gucci cream, Gucciolene. <laughs> Here with me is my brother Peter. Say hi, Peter. Hi, Klaus. I'm Peter Gruber, brother of Klaus Gruber. Together, me and my brother have invented a new Gucci cream. <laughs> it helps aid in the terrible itchiness that you get on dry, hot summer days when you sweat down low and your Gucci itches. <laughs> Klaus and I are very proud of our product. Here are some very own uh, customer, um, what are they called? <laughs> <laughs> customer, uh, reviews. Uh, reviews? <laughs> what do they call them when they're like good things? Customer. Customer, uh. Ratings? Accommodations. <laughs> when they, when they. Please don't like, rate and review this episode. When they, when they cut to like the people talking about it. Uh, customer, uh, customer, oh, um. Oh, look, it's our own. It's like I phone. saved $10 million. Yeah. You know what I mean? Customer testimonials. testimonials. Yeah. Hi, I'm Hans Gruber. I'm not the brother of Klaus or Peter Gruber, and I love Gucciolene. It's great. It's Gucci cream. Gucciolene was the best Gucci cream I've ever tried. Thank you, Klaus and Peter. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. <laughs> Isn't he welcome? He's very welcome. We love our Gucci cream. We have made millions and millions of monies from our <laughs> Gucci cream. It's Gucciolicious. <laughs> You too can drink it on the... I was going to do for drink. Buy our self-help book. Is, it is also edible. Yes, you can drink it. That is the key. Isn't that right, Peter? Yes, we have designed a very own edible gooch cream. So when you are tired of using it on your gooch, you can drink it. And it hydrates your body. And, abs- and you absorb it. And then your gooch becomes anti-itchy just from drinking it. We are very proud. Many monies. <laughs> <laughs> Having customers. Thanks, Mom. Hi. Thank God there's not like a group that bans podcasts. <laughs> this is the FCC. We're the first to go. <laughs> they didn't try the Gucci lean. Road trips are fun. It's a funny day until someone loses a wiener. Like that Netflix show. What? They just had the Netflix show that came out, the, the package. I know what you're talking about. I yeah. haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking yeah. about. This episode is not brought to you by the package. They didn't give me any money or wieners. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Wes is brought to you today, however, by wieners. Wes, you got some testimonials about wieners. <laughs> uh, not. My name is Wes, and wieners work, work wonders for my face. All right, that's enough. Hey, I'm back. What's your name, sir? Mike Mel. Mike, it's nice to meet you. You having a good con? Yeah. Great. Yep. If you, if you could only bring one item to the con, most essential thing for surviving it, what would it be? Pain medication. Pain medication. My feet are killing me. Oh, yeah, I understand that. Also good for headaches after yes. a late night partying. Absolutely. One more thing. If you were designing a hybrid creature to fight the sharktopus, what two animals would you combine? Alligator and uh, let's say killer whale. A weird. killer whale. Sure, why not? Killer gator. Killer gator. Killer gator. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great con. Right. So, ladies, I'm here with uh, Morgan. What? 
Deborah. Deborah, nice to meet you both. I'm Brett. Um, if you were designing a hybrid animal to fight the sharktopus, what do you think could best take it out? It could be anything. A sharktopus? The sharktopus. It would definitely be a flying creature with talons. Mm, like a pterodactyl. Something or along those eagle. lines, yes. Eagle combined with... Something across, yes, with maybe gills that could go under. That's mine. I don't think about that. Well, thank you. Yeah. But, uh... Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so, so we got eagle and what else? Eagle with gills. So gills. It go so underwater for extended periods. Shark of time. to eagle. Yes. yes. Something with big teeth. Big teeth. Yeah. Like a uh, sperm whale. Um, I was thinking more like a T-Rex teeth. T-Rex. Yeah. So let's see, we got T-Rex, eagle, Tyranna eagle. That's pretty yeah, good. I guess. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're hey, if there's only one item you could bring a con to survive it, what would it be? What could you not live without? Phone. Your phone. You, you concur? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. You're hey. Have a great con. You too. Hey, what's your name? Melissa. Hi, Melissa. How many years have you been coming here? Six years. Six yeah. years. So you'd say you're a pretty good vet. You know the yeah, ins and outs. For the most part. Yeah. So how would you best, how would we best survive the con? What's your best piece of advice? Hydrate and sleep. Hydrate and sleep. Then you miss out on most of the con, right? Huh? Miss all the best parts of it if you hydrate and sleep. No, you have to plan accordingly. Okay. You gotta realize you're not gonna want to do everything, so you gotta try and figure out what do you want to do the most. If you could only bring one item to the con, what would it be? Deodorant. Deodorant. That's a good one. <laughs> like. All right. Last question, and I promise I'll leave you alone forever. Okay. If you could design an animal to fight the sharktopus, combine two animals, what would it be? Elephant and. Gorilla. A gorilla fit. <laughs> Funny enough, we've actually come up with that a little bit ourselves. Okay. Yeah. We like the spider rug. Anyway, thanks for talking to me. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Say, say bye, Melissa. Bye. 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 Chris, now that it's all over with, what do you think? Uh, five out of ten. Five out of ten. Kind of like this podcast. Cam, what do you think? I want to know why he gave it a five out of ten. Because I'm driving and not. He's really pissed off at driving right now. Cam, what would you give it? Um, I think that last night. Sunday night was the best night, or like one of the most successful nights of the con we've had. Yes, we won't go into why, but for you, 10 out of 10? That night, yeah. Yeah, Until just, the end, because I was fucking tired. Just like this podcast, 10 out of 10. Check out our Twitter, because I'm going to post all kinds of pictures of Cam jumping around as an assassin. I think next year, maybe we'll rent a truck or something. We can fit everything in it bring things like water. Just take an RV and live in the RV. I have an RV. Debbie's... Wait, what? I said I have access to an RV. Damn it, Wes. I wonder where you could park it, though. That's a good question. We could find some place. An Uber in or something. I think that was just the... For what I noticed was, like, just storage space. For Gas stuff was an issue. And, uh... Water is what I would bring to the con after experiencing it. Yeah. Like need, back. need water. Drink too much. Ugh. But, anyway, it was a successful weekend. We survived it. Actually, no, we probably died a couple times. Especially after Friday. I yeah. think, don't, don't, don't go so hard on Friday and screw yourself up for the rest of the weekend. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. For sure. So anyway, that's going to do it for this edition of the podcast. Check us out on Twitter at Let's Die Pod. Facebook at Let's Die the Podcast. And uh, Let's Die at Gmail. Let's Die Pod at Gmail.com. I'll never remember all our shit. Chris, you know anything you can tell the peoples before we get off here? I don't have any closing remarks lovely cam 
Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. All right. Say bye, Wes. See y'all around. Okay. Bye. I have to poop. He has to poop. All right, Wes, truth or dare? Truth. What year would you travel in time to? Oh, this is terrible. Probably. Realistic year or? Anything? I don't know, man. Well, I guess I would have to say 1999. I go sit back and see Pantera. 1999 to see Pantera. Yeah. I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick Dare. Bite your upper lip. Mm. So hot. Careful, Wes. Don't get bothered. Truth or Dare? Ah, Dare. Dare. Scream like you're in a horror film. Oh, truth. What's the worst gift you've ever received? Ooh, what's the worst gift I've ever received? Um, oh, man. You know, they're gifts, so always appreciate a gift. Uh, I would I'm probably just say, like, this is going to be too hard. I'd probably just say, like, uh, one of gra the old Christmas sweaters from Grandma. Not that I don't appreciate it, but, but, those go the good, but they're exactly so party they're so itchy and like you have to wear it for like a few hours in the house and it's hot in there, like it sucks. All right, Wes, truth I, or dare? That was easy on that one. Truth or dare? Truth. When did you want to be, or what did you want to be when you were little? Oh, when I was a little professional baseball player. Oh, really? Pro yeah. pro baseball player? Yeah, when I was little. That's cool. Yeah, I, I played, you know, I played on the all-star team in I, Georgia. Well, I didn't know that. I played in the state championship. That was before we met. I don't know. Anyway. That was before I moved to West Virginia, but yeah. How much you dare? Act scared. Oh, my God! <gasps> <laughs> Look out! Okay. That was a little bit better. Pretty good? You like that? The last one was better than that first one. Okay. The first two was, like, scared horny. Anyway. Truth! Oh, have you ever shoplifted? I, I accidentally picked. Uh, hey, Wes, have you ever shoplifted? No, me neither. Uh, I actually, wait, yeah, I have. When I, I was a kid, have. when I was a no, kid, I dude. stole a can of Vienna sausages, and one time when I was even a smaller kid, I stole a Jurassic Park pen, but that was actually you're, an you're, accident. You're, you're, Legit you're, you're, accident. You're I can remember multiple times you have. No, I haven't. Magic the Gathering cards from Kmart. Walmart. Walmart. I did do that. See, there you go. No, but I, you act like I did it all the time. Right. I did it like twice hey, in, Kmart, in like high school. Like that counts. Oh my God. It counts. I'm, a, I'm such a fucking criminal. It counts. Whatever. Pick my gun. You're gonna do this podcast. I take my gun out. Not the gun. Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Die the His versus Her guys. The uh, fuck, hang on. You suck.